Hello and welcome. My name is Apollonio Rivera. I am the Sales and Marketing Coordinator for Telecontrol. So thank you so much for joining us once again. Um, and thank you so much for the support. We really appreciate it and you know, we're happy to keep continuing to bring all of this tele content and showing you our what our products do and what are the, some of the benefits are. So pretty much as you've seen the videos uh, before, we, all of our videos are based on our timers. So we're going to be going over one of our timers today, which is our asymmetric two-time flasher. We're we'll going over into detail what it is, what it does, um, what are the, some of the industries that it impacts. So we'll be going over it together in one of the presentations we have set up for everyone. So, but if you have any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate. Definitely leave a comment below or just email us. If you don't know what our email address is, it is sales at tele-control.com and we will get back to you as soon as possible. So we'll get started, all right? Perfect, so the asymmetric two-time flasher. Excited to go over this with you guys and going into detail as to what are some of the benefits of each product uh, because there are two different uh, asymmetric flashers which we'll be going over into detail. But you know, first off, let's explain what exactly is an asymmetric flasher. So our asymmetric flasher, also known as a two-timer relay, so it, we've seen a lot of our competitors usually name this type of uh, product uh, in this specific timer. Uh, as a two timer relay, sometimes a dual timer relay as we have it on there. It's a one of a kind relay where you know you can set up to two different times independently, which is big, specifically for clients you know that want to set up uh, both on and off time ranges to cover both one after the other. Um, we set up an image on here as a T1 and T2 set points so you can have an idea the time ranges that you can set it up from. There's a diagram to the right that kind of shows you the T1 and T2, how they work. And then also aside from the seven ranges that we offer uh, for, you know, independently, we also offer a two-time multifunctional timer and we'll be going over that as well as to what exactly it is. Uh, we know her, uh, we know this specific, uh, you know, the two-time multifunctional timer as a big sister and we'll explain why, okay? So just remember as far as for the asymmetric flasher remember it's <clears throat> it offers two different times independently which is great uh, a lot of our time delay relays you know those specifically are targeted for specific clients where you know they're going to use it for those functions and for this one these types of uh, time adjustments are meant for clients you know that want to have uh, more than just one time adjustment that work independently okay so what are some of the benefits for uh, this uh, particular product? The, you know, one of the biggest things is the size. So for the E1ZI10, it's 17 millimeters. It's very slim, just like our uh, other timers. Works just as great as any of our competitors, except that this one, you don't have to worry about it being bulkier. It's very slim, fits right in. Uh, definitely make a lot of room into your PLC. Don't have to worry about any additional accessories, if anything. But uh, as far as for the independent adjustments, as we stated on there, it offers a wide range of power supply and control voltage, LED status lights, uh, LED status indication, single pull double throw for the E1 ZI10, and then the double pull double throw for the E3 ZI20 for those relay outputs. And then the E3 ZI20, even though it's a little bulkier, uh, it's, it's a little bigger, but the reason is because it offers up to seven different functions. That's the reason why it's a little bigger. And in my opinion, that's, uh, that's amazing because we add more additional functions on there for you. And you know, that, that's one of the great benefits about that product, okay? So the E1 ZI10 is a uh, 12 to 240 volts AC-DC. As we can see on there, you know, it's, uh, you can see, we made the image bigger so you can see the, you know, the wire bridge between the A and A1 and B1. Um, and the two functions that you can see on there that you can set up for this particular product is the asymmetric uh, flash pause first, which is the IP, and then the II is the asymmetric flasher pulse first, um, and you can see on there as well. Um, it offers seven time ranges from one second up to 100 hours. Uh, adjustment ranges from 50 milliseconds to 100 hours, which is really great. 
don't have to worry about readjusting it. You know, that's such a long time up to 100 hours. Uh, it's, it's really great. 12 to 240 volts AC DC control and supply voltage, as I mentioned before. And then single pull double throw relay output. Uh, the output for this is 8 amps at 250 volts alternating current. And then you can see our certifications on there. Uh, CE, CUL, US, and then EAC certified as well. Okay. Uh, one of the greatest things is the $51 as far as for the US MSRP. Uh, but definitely let us know if you have any specific questions for this. We'll get back to you as soon as possible. If possible, we can even send you samples. But, you know, we're, we're excited about the asymmetric flasher and introducing it to everyone. Now, introducing the big sister, which is the E3ZI20. 12 to 240, uh, 240 volts AC-DC. Has up to seven functions. That's the reason why it's a little bigger. As you can see on that image on the left, you see the time ranges that you can set it up. And then to the right, you see the functions. Uh, we specifically listed on there all the functions that it offers. One of the greatest benefits is because, you know, even though it's bigger, it, it works great. I mean, having seven additional functions specifically for, you know, any a specific application where you need additional, uh, aside from the pause or pulse flasher, this one offers just a lot more, okay? Uh, offers the same time ranges, uh, adjustable, adjustable range as well from 50 milliseconds to 100 hours. Uh, the supply voltage and control voltage, as I mentioned, is 12 to 240 volts. AC, DC, double pull, double throw relay output, 8 amps at 200, 250 volts AC. And then it is also, you can see the certifications on there. One of the greatest things about the E3 ZI20, it's $64 in the US as far as for pricing. Not very inexpensive compared to some of the, the additional products you have to buy because the functions that it offers, that's the reason why it's a little more pricier. But it, I mean, you have those seven additional functions, okay? <clears throat> All right, perfect. So. We're going to go over the markets and applications. So what kind of markets and applications uh, the, the asymmetric flasher, um, you know, impacts. So as we listed a few on here, um, you know, one of the biggest ones that we're going to be going over with some uh, examples is the industri industrial vacuums, for example. Um, the industrial air compressor drain, for example, this is one big one that we used as an example because one of our clients told us about it. Um, one of the biggest things that they did not like is having to manually drain, you know, their compressor each and every time. We do it for you. Our E1ZI10 handles that for you. You don't have to worry about, you know, having to do it manually. You can set it up as long as you use the II uh, flasher. Uh, impulse first that does it for you uh, for example it opens a drain valve for every 10 seconds for up to 202.5 hours two and a half hours this is crucial because this helps get rid of that moisture that the air compressor system builds and don't ha and one of the biggest things is the lifespan of your equipment don't have to worry about you know replacing this product every time or even your equipment it actually protects it from all that moisture that it builds up Okay, um, now as far as for the E3 ZI, uh, ZI20, and this example that we're going to give is the remote data transmission in this application, which is really great because one of the biggest things about, a, you know, when you use a remote data transmission is the data that it's, it's very important to make sure that that gets recorded. So, for example, if the power was to ever go out, every you know every building usually has a 12 volt direct current backup battery so what pretty much what our device does is the e3 zi20 makes sure that the battery lasts longer by power when it powers back up the data that it's going to try to send over we manage it to making sure that it doesn't do it automatically where it's going to drain out the battery each and every you know whatever time it has uh, for you to set, set up that remote data transmission. Um, in this case, the solution for it, you can set up for it to send every 10 minutes to every two hours and until the power gets back on so the battery lasts a lot longer. You don't have to worry about, you know, wondering what's gonna happen with that data once the, the it drains the battery and it goes completely off, okay? 
Um, now, as far as for the setup, just definitely see one of our previous videos. It shows you how you can set up one of our timers um, and, you know, definitely check that video out. So yeah, I mean, as you can see on there, you have both items. Any questions, please let us know. We, you know, we can definitely send out any specific data sheet or, you know, ask us your questions by leaving a comment below or just email us at sales at telly-controls.com and we can definitely get back to you as soon as possible. But thank you so much for watching and you know, we'll definitely stay in touch and we'll bring out a different video every other week or every week explaining how our products work. All right, well, take care everyone.